This is the pearl fish, and yes, it lives inside the butts of other animals. But before we jump to conclusions about this weird little fish, it's important to understand where it's coming from and put ourselves in its position. Okay, well, not literally. You're happily swimming along in the ocean when suddenly a predator appears. Your brain tries to think of any way to escape, but all it can come up with are three viable solutions. You can A, swim away, B, fight it off, or C, dive headlong into the first sphincter you can find. Now I know this seems like a really difficult decision, but let's just keep in mind that you aren't the best swimmer, have about as much strength as an Alfredo noodle, and just so happen to be the perfect shape to slide right into an anus. Now when I put it like that, the pearlfish actually sounds like kind of a genius. Now out of all the butts in the ocean, the pearlfish prefers that of the sea cucumber. Although starfish and clams are also up for violation. The pearlfish goes dumpster diving and just like that, it's found itself a nice cozy place to hide from danger. Now you may wonder, why doesn't the predator just eat the sea cucumber with the fish inside of it? I mean, it sounds like the oceanic equivalent of a pig in a blanket. But let's just say that if given the choice between eating a sea cucumber and a land cucumber, I would eat the most bland, tasteless vegetable in the entire world in a heartbeat. In other words, the pear is left alone because sea cucumbers taste like literal garbage. To most predators, except some humans, ironically. Now it gets pretty lonely living in a big spacious anus all by yourself. And unfortunately for the sea cucumber, that means the pearlfish often has company. As many as 14 of these guys have been found snuggling up inside the crapper of one sea cucumber. Which, if I were the sea cucumber at that point, would really hate evolution for not giving me a way to off myself. And just to add fuel to the fire, they also mate inside the sea cucumber, lay eggs in it which hatch inside the sea cucumber, and for good measure eat its genitals. Like, do I even have to write a joke for that? That's just frickin' terrible. You may wonder what the sea cucumber gains from this, and the answer is nothing. Like, nothing whatsoever. It honestly gets screwed pretty bad. And as for why the sea cucumber doesn't do anything to stop this from happening, when you're an animal with no eyes, brain, arms, legs, money, power, or connections to the mob, you kind of just deal with it. Until you die. Isn't nature beautiful?